In an era dominated by e-commerce giants, are your old brick and mortar stores even relevant? The data might just surprise you. According to Capital One, in 2022, brick and mortar sales outgrew e-commerce sales by 11.4%. And this wasn't just in 2022. In 2021, brick and mortar stores grew faster than e-commerce for the first time ever, with physical stores growing at 18.5% versus e-commerce growth of 14.2%. What exactly is happening? Turns out there's something about physical stores that online shopping can't replicate. Immediate gratification from purchasing an item. The tactile experience of physical browsing and ultimately as a Forrester survey discovered, people just want someone to talk to. Great news for brick and mortar stores? Not quite, because the customer has to evolve. Nowadays, people are, are expecting to have this connected world. Having our connected identity in the, in the digital aspect, being in the physical way of store. From the customer point of view, think about the reduction in friction and the growth in satisfaction when a customer knows exactly where the merchandise is in the store at any given time, even when they are at home on their computer. They can just come to the store, get what they need, pay with their mobile phone and engage both the physical and digital world to enrich their buyer journey. With e-commerce becoming commonplace, people expect more from brick and mortar stores. They expect the same level of seamlessness between their online and offline presence. A study by Global Data of shoppers in Singapore concluded that consumers are increasingly integrating online with offline during their shopping journeys. This shows that there is no separate online and offline retail sectors, but rather a single sector that is rapidly digitalizing. And that's actually what Trigo helps retailers generating a digital avatar, a digital ecosystem of the store, connecting your physical identity to your virtual identity, understanding where you have been in the store and generating an holistic story as you as a customer, enabling also retailers in your online shopping, understanding your trends in a physical way of doing the goods. With the pressure on offline retailers to create more immersive digital experiences for shoppers, coupled with high upfront costs on assets, the reality for offline retailers is simple, generate more sales or die. But offline retailers no longer need to be in the blind. With new technology, companies like Nexite are providing a new level of visibility to brick and mortar stores. Uh, Nexite basically connects physical merchandise to the cloud, providing the same uh, capabilities and utilities that you have online today to the physical stores as well, completely digitizing the stores. Sales data account for 2% of the data available only because for every touch point that you receive when you produce a sale, you're actually leaving behind 57 additional data points being collected early on in the funnel that you could have captured but you are missing today. And those data points are critical if you want to increase your sales because if you want to do that, you need to understand why items which are not selling enough are not succeeding as much as you would have liked. As technology continues to evolve and consumer expectations shift, the success of brick and mortar stores will depend on their agility and willingness to adapt. I think friction shopping is definitely the future. We see the trend, we have now served millions of customers and the customer satisfaction is remarkable. And through the journey of de generating the friction shopping experience, we'll see actually different retailers take a different path. So in my understanding, all retailers in 10 years time reach the same endpoint of friction shopping experience, but some will go in one path and others in a different one, in giving the best experience they can.